Great to have you here at uh, Main Street Goodness, our in-house bakery, Piconic. So we're here today in the bakery. We're going to make uh, an old favorite, which is blueberry muffins. So of course we have to start with the best blueberries we can find. And here in Columbia County, that means the Chatham Berry Farm. So uh, we get all of our blueberries from them. You're gonna need three quarters of a pound of butter. You're gonna need three cups of white sugar, six eggs, a little dash of uh, lemon zest, a teaspoon of vanilla, some uh, good yogurt, three cups of yogurt, and then you're gonna need uh, around a tablespoon of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and six cups of great all-purpose flour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the butter and the sugar. So we're just gonna scoop that into there, into the KitchenAid, try and get it all in there. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the butter is really soft, um, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together. So now the butter and the sugar is in there. We're gonna make sure that's up. We're gonna turn it on ever so gently and we're gonna let the kitchen aid do its magic. And so basically what that's doing is it's fully combining and, and the butter and the sugar together and making like a nice sort of sugary butter cream. So basically what you wanna do is when you look into the bowl, you don't wanna see any more sugar because it's all gonna be part of the butter. And uh, it looks like we're just about there. So we're gonna turn it off or down low. Now we're gonna add our eggs. So remember, it's six eggs. All right, we're gonna give that a little bit more speed. Again, we're gonna try and make sure that the butter and the eggs are really well combined. While that's going, we're gonna just whisk in our lemon zest there and get it out. There we go. Don't be afraid to use your fingers. Spatula, whatever you have handy. So that's gonna go in. Uh, we're just gonna stop it for one second and just give it a little bit of help. Make sure that we get everything off the sides of the bowl. And you can already smell with that lemon zest and that sugar and that butter, it's already starting to smell good. You know something good is coming. We're gonna add our vanilla. And we're gonna add our yogurt. All right, so while, while that's going, we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients. So we have our flour that there. We're gonna add our baking powder, our baking soda, our salt. All right, so that's all combined. We're just gonna sort of mix this together so that we get all the dry ingredients uh, really well mixed. Okay, so now we're going to slowly pour our dry ingredients in. We're gonna get it all in there. See, it's all coming together really nicely. Ah, there's a muffin happening there. We're gonna get muffins out of that. That looks good. All right. So there is our batter for the muffins. All right, that's mostly there. We're gonna put that off the side here. So, we have our mix, so we're going to get a big bowl. We have our blueberries. Now, the thing is, we get fresh blueberries from Chatham Berry Farm, um, but we find that they're actually better to bake with if they're frozen. So we've got our now frozen blueberries in there, and we're going to take our muffin batter, and in it goes. See what a nice consistency that is, what a nice yellow color. You can smell the zest. Gives it a nice bright flavor. With the yogurt, you're gonna have a really moist muffin. Nobody likes dry muffins. All right. So you've got your blueberries in there and you've got your batter in there. So you're just gonna sort of turn it together until you fold the blueberries in. And the great thing about this is that because the blueberries are frozen, there's no danger of crushing them and turning all the batter blue. So you've got that glorious yellow color from the, you know, like the color of the sun. It's bright, it's sunny, you feel great just mixing it around. Again, you don't want to over mix it. So that's about right, see how beautiful that is? Nothing to it, all those beautiful blueberries in there. Okay, so we've got our, 
We've got our muffin cups already here. You know, the best way to scoop is, is almost with an ice cream scoop. It makes it just so easy. So we like a big muffin. So we use almost a five ounce scoop and it just goes right, look how pretty that is. Makes a nice rounded dome over the top. Nothing to it, see? And it's so quick, it's so easy, and it's gonna be so yummy when we get finished. Look at that. Don't you wanna eat it right now? And I can't tell you how many times that I've eaten the muffin dough. It's amazing I don't look like a big muffin. I've eaten so much muffin dough. Okay, there we go. So you've got six beautiful muffins almost ready to go in. And then what we'd like to do, just for a little bit of texture, is we add a little bit of turbinado sugar over the top, just like that. All right. Just give a little bit of texture. All right, and that is ready to go into the oven. So that is beautiful. It's 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Everybody's oven is a little bit different. That's what goes in. And this is what comes out. Isn't that beautiful? Those are freshly baked muffins. They're available here every day at our cafe, Main Street Goodness, made our in-house bakery, Piconic. We look forward to welcoming you and having you enjoy some of our muffins.